Welcome everyone to Nikki Loves Books. Nikki here and today we do have our next Owl Crate. So this is our Owl Crate Adult Fantasy box and yes it's a very small box because it's just a book. Now if you guys were not aware Owl Crate is no longer doing like their booklets or pamphlets that tell you what's in the box or about it. It's all digital now. So what you need to do is use your phone camera and scan that and you can just hit on the website and it will take you to the link that will bring you to the site where it tells you about the items in the box. If you all remember for our young adult box for this month in October, the link didn't work for me. Like it didn't exist. The page was not found. Just it did not work. So I'm kind of hoping that today it works because it would be really nice. Holy smokes everyone, it worked. So I can actually tell you the theme and the theme this month for our October adult fantasy box is rewrite the stars. And again, this box is only a book, but I'm very, very excited for this book. So our book this month is The Stars Are Dying by Chloe C. Penaranda. So very happy to have this book. I have been wanting to read it for a while now. It was just one of those books that was on my TBR and I have a very long TBR, like most of us. And so I just haven't gotten around to it and I haven't even gotten around to buying it. So it's really nice that it's in this box. I will point out that Bookish Box is also doing this book though. So it'll be interesting to see which edition I end up liking more. I probably... I'm gonna like this like from what I've seen this is already absolutely stellar and I can't wait to show you guys all the details of this book. So before getting into all the details of our beautiful edition let's find out what the stars are dying is about. Astrea is a prisoner of her own mind the past sliding from her grasp like water but she knows she must escape the cruel arms that hold her captive and find her clouded memories once again. This quest leads her to the Libertatum a succession of trials hosted by the king in which five human lands compete for a cycle of safety from the vampires seeking blood, claiming souls, and savaging after dark. But even winning the Libertatum will not keep Astrea safe from vampires. She's made a bargain with beautiful and deadly night who stalks her dreams and haunts her waking hours. He promises to keep her safe, but she knows she cannot trust him cannot trust his lies, even as she finds herself drawn deeper and deeper into his seductive embrace. Caught between night and her own mysteries, Astrea must decide if winning the Libertatum for her kingdom is worth her life, or if protection and the answers to her past really are her strongest desires. So yeah, again, another vampire book. It seems definitely like we're on a vampire trend again, and I'm not gonna complain. I, I really enjoy vampires. I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely love Twilight, but I liked vampires way before Twilight too, so don't come after me for that, but I'm just like, I have always enjoyed vampire romance stories, so I'm definitely gonna love this. So getting into all the details of our beautiful edition, we of course have an exclusive redesigned cover and it says on the back, once upon a time, there was a war between stars. And I love the gilded gold on this cover. It is just so beautiful, especially across this. And just the purples and blues, like such a beautiful edition. And please look at this beautiful reversible dust jacket. Like this artwork, like are we seeing this? It is so pretty. A gorgeous foiled hardcover case. Just these details are absolutely stunning. And speaking of details, we do have stenciled edges all the way around. We also have illustrated end papers that are also foiled. And is signed by the author, includes an author letter, and has bonus content inside. And last but definitely not least, we do have a matching ribbon bookmark, which I always like that little touch of detail. Yeah, like a ribbon bookmark is always chef's kiss to me. Like I'm just like, it just feels that much nicer to have a bound ribbon bookmark. Okay, and I just noted something. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The whole entire book has been beautiful, but this seems to be off. So where they folded it, as you can see, this should be on the spine directly. And then when we come look here, some of the cover ends up folded on the inside. So I kind of feel like the cover's not quite correct. So like it seems centered on the front page, but again, once you get to the spine, everything's kind of shifted. 
But overall, I think this edition is absolutely stunning. And I'm really hoping that Owl Crate continues doing special editions for the rest of the series because I would be very happy to have more books that looked as gorgeous as this. As always, do check out the Owl Crate Spotify playlist to go along with this book and the theme of the month. I always love listening to the playlist. It's helped me add more music to my own playlist. So when will I actually be able to read The Stars Are Dying? Thankfully, very, very soon. So I'm currently reading Immortal Dark, which was our young adult Owl Crate box for this month. And then once I'm done with Immortal Dark, I will be moving on to The Stars Are Dying. I will be reading back-to-back -back vampire books, but nothing wrong with that, especially during the spooky season. Thanks so much, everyone, and you guys should be seeing me again probably Wednesday, depending on my schedule and how busy I am with work. But one of my subscribers did ask me to go over my special edition of Throne of Glass and any merch that I have from Throne of Glass. So we're going to go ahead and do that video probably on Wednesday since we don't have a bookish box. So for those of you guys who know, I am still dealing with some chronic health issues. I do have skin cancer. Thankfully, at this time, it's just in one spot and it will be hopefully an easier treatment than the last time I had cancer. But the main reasons why I've kind of slowed down on videos other than unboxings is because I'm having swallowing issues and my voice gets hoarse with it. So I don't know if talking is making it worse and irritating that area. I have no idea. I do have more tests coming up next month. So far the tests have been inconclusive so they can't draw an actual diagnosis from the tests I've had which figured you know what they really need to do is go in and see it with an endoscopy so that is scheduled but not until like mid next month. So it's going to still be a while before I have answers and until then I kind of have to be careful of what I do. But as always thank you so much for being here and for all your support. Be sure to like this video if you want to see me do more unboxings and make sure you're subscribed to join me for all the bookish fun. Thanks so much, everyone.